So I figure everyone has seen a Chrono Cross tier list of all 45 characters. I wanted to try something a little bit different, so I decided to make a tier list of the six elemental colors. I know that's not very many, but I figure let's just get right into the list. So, without any further ado, here we go. So, the one that I think is not the best, it's not bad, but definitely at the bottom of my tier list is definitely yellow. Yeah, I definitely think that yellow is kind of iffy. I mean, with yellow, you get things like Thunderstorm and Thundersnake, Earthquake, Golem, Upheaval, and Electrobolt. Good, all good fun spells and everything. And we get interesting characters like Zoa and General Viper, Norris, and even the boss, the High Ho Tank, was pretty hard to take on. But all things considered, I don't think that the yellow element really stands up compared to the others on this list. So, which comes next? Well, that is the green. Green is pretty good. I'm not going to lie. It's not like it's terrible or anything. I mean, we've got fun spells like Carnivore, Tornado, Heal Plus, Heal All, and Arrow Blaster. So it can do both damage and healing. And we also have really strong, extremely ridiculously broken character, Glenn. And we have good characters like Karsh and Radius. But overall, I just don't think that green is maybe as good as some of the other colors. So, what do we get up next? We get black. Honestly, I think maybe black is a little bit in ahead of green. It's a little better than green was, so I'll move it up here. I think black is really cool. There's lots of good black spells, but the problem is a lot of them are instant death, so they're not super useful. That being said, we still get great ones like Gravitone, Gravity Blow, Mothership, Grim Reaper, Nostrum, and Black Hole and free fall but even better than that are the characters like dario lynx dark surge and harl harley however you're supposed to pronounce it and there are some really good stuff so i do think black is solidly in the b tier it's just if i had to say i don't think it's it's any higher than that so what does deserve to be in the A tier? Well, that's none other than the red. The red is a really good element. We get all kinds of very powerful stuff like Magma Burst, Inferno, Volcano, Salamander, and Red Wolf, which is all really cool. But even better than that to me is definitely the characters like Kid, Janice, Mickey, and Red Dragon's second form, who's a hell of a hard boss to take on for the time. So, Red really just has kind of everything going for it. But as you can clearly see, we've got a couple that are a little bit better than that. So, the, the highest tier, the S tier, the first one is going to be Blue. Spoiler list for who wins. But the blue element is home to some of the best spells and characters in the game. We've got Deluge, Iceberg, Ice Blast, Cure Plus, Cure All, Figora, Blue Whale, and Frog Prince. All are great spells. Much like green, there's offensive and there's healing. But there's also some really good support spells thrown in, like Vigora, which is one of the best in the game. And some blue characters are extremely good, like Fargo, Lena, Marcy, 
And for New Game Plus, you get Slash as one of the doppelgang. So that's pretty cool. But last and definitely not least is the best one on the entire tier list, which is none other than White. Which, come on, you expected White to be there at the very top of the top. You expected it all along. But I'll, I'll make my argument anyhow. We get Photon Beam, Ultra Nova, Saints, Recover All, Holy Light, Holy Healing, Meteor Shower, Revive, and Full Revive. I mean, just for Revive and Full Revive, White would automatically be the very best. But with stuff like Ultra Nova and um, Holy Light... We get such amazing power as well. Not to mention the absurdly powerful characters like Surge, Garai, Miguel, Pip, and Stina. I know a lot of people don't like Pip, but on the remaster they fixed him and he can have really good potential. I really like Pip. But yeah, Garai was really hard to take on, and not to mention Miguel, the hardest boss in the entire game, and everyone knows it. So, that's my tier list. Comment below what you thought, and subscribe. Have a good rest of your day.